If you saw the most binged watch series ever called The Chosen on the big screen or on Netflix, you may have been deeply impressed with the opening line in the prayer to Jesus. Jesus, when he is talking to God, addresses him saying, as a king of the universe, which is to say this, this is what was said, blessed are you, Lord, our God, king of the universe, who brings sleep to my eyes, slumber to my eyelids, May it be your will, Lord, my God, God of my ancestors that lie down in peace and that I rise in peace. Let my sleep be undisturbed by troubling thoughts, bad dreams, or wicked schemes. Now God made all that ever was, is, and will be, so he is literally the king of the universe. This language gives us another verbal understanding of the creator of all, the king of the universe, and he's literally and figuratively sovereign and creator of existence. He made us as Genesis 1:26 in his image and likeness. And we are to be sovereign or ruler over ourselves, our family, and our good works. Sovereignty obviously takes dedication, discipline, and total awareness to accomplish effectively and comprehensively. When you pray to the God, the king of the universe, know that he's always listening and awaiting for your communique. He is able to listen to everyone, everywhere, simultaneously, and answer. This demonstrates that the king of the universe is always listening, ready, and available. However, we need to make ourselves prayerful, human requesters to God so he can give us a godlike answer. Talking to him is usually called prayer, meditation, or reflection. The Chosen retells the story of stories from the Bible. In my mind, it has never been better told or more compellingly put on film than by Dallas Jenkins, a creator, author, director, producer of the movie series called The Chosen. Amazingly, it has been seen now on Netflix by over 400 million people around the world. In its first season, it was crowdfunded to $10 million by 19,000 individuals who understood the deep hunger and need for this visionary dream to be realized and actualized. Angel Studios are the distributors. The CEO of Angel Studio is Neil Harmon. Neil says we are creating shows without sex, violence, and exemplifying the truth like The Chosen. Harmon visualizes that over one billion people watch the series during the next seven years to be completed by 2027. As a media and advertising maven, Neil is excited with his three partner brothers and cousin in making it available. Its vast world around popularity is now slated, as I said, to be funded and go into seven seasons. It is heart touching, soul penetrating, and is absolutely worthy of your viewership. I predict that you will be compelled to view and binge watch the entire series as Crystal and I have, and most others who get into it are. It will deeply and profoundly move you. Most probably, it will bring you back to reading the Bible again, or for the first time, or awakening your innate spiritual awareness. Chosen will open your eyes to true experience in a lifetime of Jesus. You will come to clearly comprehend the historical, spiritual, political, cultural context, and consciousness in which Jesus grew up and did his supernatural miracles. Watching the movie simulation of Jesus curing leprosy, <clears throat> Healing a lifelong crippled man, walk again, casting out demons, and as many miracles will get you to consider becoming a true believer if you're not, and keeping your faith and having a, to a deeper understanding if you are a true believer. It is, as I said, heart touching and soul penetrating as the unfoldment of Jesus' story comes to life in a series. All other previous media experiences have been limited to an hour and a half to two hours as theoretical in expressions. This series, you'll come to understand Jesus in a profound way because Dallas Jenkins is a lifelong student of Christ, the entire story before, during, and after his life. All of the above is stated to get you more in tune with the infinite. We all inherently know that the infinite is, in fact, infinite. We inherently know that we are made in a spirit of infinite stuff we exist in physical bodies, yet are intrinsically spiritual, and our spirits live forever. That is why watching Chosen will get you God bumps, goosebumps, chili bumps. We know and believe and feel the truth when it's expressed and shared with us. 
That's why my Chicken Soup for the Soul series is vastly and continues to be super successful. Jack Canfield and I shared only true stories. Individuals of all genders, creeds, races, religions felt the truth and shared it with those that they love, which is what is happening now with the chosen. With your prayers, you are a broadcasting and receiving station to and from God. You talk and God listens. Then God acts in your absolute best interest. Sometimes he said no, or it seems slow, but his delays are not denials. They're just temporary withholds until the time is right. It's like you plant an apple seed and it cannot become an instant apple tree. It takes time and process. As you are patient, your prayers manifest seemingly miraculous ways. When I went bankrupt in 1973 and 74, I prayed for a breakthrough. I could never have imagined that I would become, at that juncture, world's best-selling author, and the king of the universe had a much bigger and more extraordinary plan for my future than I did. The king of the universe hears your prayers and will proceed to give you more than you ask, think, or believe, but it will take time. Allow me to share with you talking to the king of the universe at its very positive best. Some people call it self-talk. When you convince yourself through prayer, the world becomes convinced. As a young speaker, I had read that one should pick one dream prayer and repeat it gently, calmly, feelingly, and believingly just before sleep and slumber 101 times and then comfortably fall into deep sleep and be ready because the answer is coming. I did that dream. I wanted to earn $400 by scheduling a series of four talks and seminars in a life insurance company. After repeating that affirmative prayer, I was awakened at 2.58 a.m. with a name and a knowingness that I didn't know. I had a paper and pen next to bed and I wrote down the name, Bill Widener, in a life insurance company I'd never heard of called State Mutual Life Insurance. The very next day, I'm out co-calling in a metropolitan life insurance building and I seen the name, Bill Widener, State Mutual. I go to his office. Nobody is at the front desk. I go straight to his personal office and within five minutes, he gave me a check for $400 to prepay for my seminars. Now later he told me I was so, he was so taken with my enthusiasm that he found giving me a check was irresistible experience. My prayers and his were answered. He was praying for somebody that would further inspire his salespeople to their fulfilled potential future dreams and visions. This happened one more time when Jack Canfield and I wanted exactly the right new title for our book series. In our respective homes, him in Santa Barbara, me in Newport Beach, we prayed respectively 101 times saying, mega best song title, mega best song title, mega best song title. Jack called me in the middle of the night, awakening my entire family before, remember, before cell phones. My daughter was at that time a vet wannabe. We had 88 animals living on one acre. Hearing the phones, they all went crazy, barking, clucking, howling. Jack said, as I remember, chicken soup, and I said, for the soul. We both immediately got God bumps or goose bumps. That was our corroboration of the truth. But still, 144 publishers didn't like it and rejected it and would not publish us. Here is what I learned from Wallace Waddles, the man who helped write us out of the depression of 1898 in his classic must-read book called The Science of Getting Rich. He says there's an immutable stuff in the universe that literally gets molded by our thoughts and prayers. He says the original substance of the universe is limitless and influenced by consciousness. You impress your thinking about the formless substance and create that which you think about all the time. Everything is made from the original substance and therefore inexhaustible. Universe desires for you to ask the king of the universe for what you want to be, what you want to do, and what you want to have. Waddle says, if you have not consciously decided in favor of yourself to become healthy, happy, wise, and rich, you're consciously deciding and allowing yourself to become sick, unhappy, ignorant, and poor. There's infinite, inexhaustible, invisible supply that will get you only what you want by prayer. You only need to go deep inside your consciousness, discover and use it, as I exampled my two stories up above. There's a thinking stuff from which all things are made, which in its original state permeates, penetrates, fills the inner space of the universe, 
A thought in that substance produces a thing that's imagined by that thought. Man can form, or woman, can form that thought, and impressing that thought on a formless substance is causal. The thing you think about comes about. Dallas Jenkins impressed this formless substance by creating a script for Chosen, sharing it with Angel Studios, and they helped crowdfunded it with 19,000 people responding to their fervent, sincere prayers, came up with $10 million to build this great movie from which I learned about the King of the Universe as a title. So what it means is you pray like Jesus did to the King of the Universe and get simple things like sleep and rest, cause healing and health, learn the right words to, like Jesus did to say to his apostle, Nicodemus, the public, politicians, or whomever. Likewise, the apostle Paul admonished us, pray without ceasing. We see that in Jesus, you and I can pray positively to obtain, as I said in my above case, for whatever you want. In my case, speeches and best-selling book titles and best-selling books. The king of the universe has in his sky vault all that you could possibly request or requisition. Prayer is a way from here to there. It is omni-available. You and you alone can choose to be favored or chosen by praying to the king of the universe.